In this video today, I'm unboxing and gonna go ahead and put to use this Signature Series Mug Press. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Benjamin T-Shirt, Side Hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home. Where are we at? And in this video, like I said, it's an unboxing video of the Sawgrass Signature Series Mug Press. Comes with a lot of attachments, and we're pressing up two mugs for the Trash Talk pop-up. It's all in the name of Hustle. Hope you guys enjoy this video right after the intro. Okay, okay, let's jump right into it. But before we do, you guys know what I need you to do for me. I need you to like this video, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff because I make videos like this all the time. And yes, I mean all the time. Okay, so before I do jump into it, I want to just address something real quick. I am not responsible for how YouTube notifies you guys. So if you want to get notified about my videos that are dropping or about the live videos, like some of you guys have been commenting because you've been missing those go ahead and hit the post notifications on there as well after you click that subscribe button that way you don't miss out on the content to come because trust me there is a ton and i mean a ton of content to come so today i got something that i had this one here probably for about a year and a half now it hasn't been out of the box i've also had another one of these probably for about three years now and that one hasn't been out of the box but today, I'm taking them out of the box. I got a few boxes here to unbox for you guys, to show you guys, and you guys can see on the side of this right here, and from the intro, that this here is from Heat Press Nation, and let's see what's inside here. Wait, you guys already know what's inside, but whatever the case is, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, pop it open. Woohoo! You guys know it comes, a satisfaction guarantee. We got a little handle here. We got a power cord. We got a packing slip. We got some instructions. We don't need those. All right, we got an extra fuse. Keep that on the tuck, you know what I'm saying? You should have a little drawer of things that you might need later, all right? So inside of here, we have the signature series mug press okay i'm gonna take this over here sit it down all right nextly let me drop the camera now just the hair Boop. all right now we're on the same playing field we have the signature series cap and label press here saran wrapped all up I gotta get over this off, man. It's a lot. They wrapped it and wrapped it and wrapped it and wrapped it. Okay. Okay, so we got our signature series mug press here. Uh, I decided to flip some things around just so I can get a better view. We got some more things to open, so this is pretty cool here. Is it time for the smell test? I think it is. It's smell time, smell time, smell time. That's right, guys. It's time to go ahead and smell test this bad boy. So let's give it a sniff. You know what they say America runs on? That's right. America runs on Dunkin'. And this thing smells like a freshly brewed cup of Dunkin' Donuts caramel swirl coffee that's my favorite and i can smell it because that is what i'm going to be using this for we're going to get to make some mugs and if you stay tuned later on not in this video but in another video we got a special attachment that just dropped from these guys over our heat press nation and if you pick one up i suggest you pick one up with it which will be the skinny tumbler press all right so box number two now Sometimes tape beats me. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Packing slip. 
Don't need that. All right, in here, it looks like we have our attachments. So, based on what you're pressing, there are a lot of different options to the different patents that uh, you could use. They got ones for shot glasses with different shapes right here. You can just tell. You a drinker, you got some for shot glasses. They have big ones, they got small ones, and everything in between. And like I just said, there is a skinny tumbler press, so it will be no other needed. You can go ahead and use your signature series uh, mug press, and now mug and tumbler press. Whatever it is that you need, you can use this for. Um, and then if you get into large scale production, you still may need to get an oven, but this will do the job for you. Put that new attachment in here you swap them out and you get it going so here is the press i'm going to move that off to the side and i'm going to show you guys what i got inside of these other two boxes right after i get this stuff out of my way okay we're back now and we are going to go ahead and cut this box open here so let's see what we got inside of this box it's pretty 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 heavy so Go ahead and pop it, pop it. More packaging, more boxes. We got box inside of a box. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Ooh, ooh, looks like this is the bottom, but we got a mug, black handle, black inside, white outside for me to go ahead and sub on. Uh, this is going to be great because Dekira, Trash Talk Tees, wants to put um, some, some sands on mugs. So we have some stuff that we're going to press up. So we got a black mug here. It's been so long, I don't even remember if I got the same mug or a different mug. But no worries, you guys said you want sublimation videos. And guess who's bringing you sublimation videos? That's right, your boy, Stan Banks. From t-shirt side hustle that's right clap it up round of applause okay so inside of here we have a another black mug but this one's slightly different okay this one here has a like white picture box around it which means you can get an all black mug versus one where you can't so what i can see on this one here is jakira wanted some mugs so we're gonna give her a few of these and a few of these this one here will probably do all black with white words on it. And then this one here will just do black words. And that'll give it a nice little look. One smaller. I don't know what the ounces are. I don't quite remember. It's been a while since I ordered these. Uh, but we got like maybe, let me say, 10 ounce and 13 ounce, whatever it is. This one's slightly smaller than this one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have it on here. But pretty cool mugs right here that you guys can get. I picked up all of this stuff from Heat Press Nation. You guys can visit hpn.tshirtsizesu.com. That's my affiliate link to let them know that I sent you. I also have a link directly to the mug press and both sets of mugs and maybe some other stuff that I like for sublimation as well down in the description below. So make sure you click those links if you're gonna purchase, okay? So don't forget the skinny tumbler attachment is available inside of the kits. It's currently not available or may be available uh, separately. I'll have a link to that down in the description when it is available, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, you guys can get that individually if you already got one. And uh, if you don't, you can get it inside your kit, which is pretty cool. So right now, I'm going to move all of this stuff around, get it where it needs to go. Then I'm waiting for Amazon to deliver me some heat tape. It's been a while since I did some sublimation, so I need some heat tape to wrap these bad boys and get them inside that mug press, turn it on, fire it up, and make a video. Finally, doing an actual review of this, see how long it heats up, do all the testing and stuff that we need to do. And we're gonna be moving forward. So we'll get right back to that as soon as I can. Okay, so I'm back. Amazon finally arrived. I got my mugs all ready to press. We are gonna get into some tutorials about all of this stuff later on. Sawgrass, I need y'all to fix y'all software. It takes about like five minutes for the thing to go from y'all creative studio to actually be able to print. That's unacceptable, man. It's already taking long enough, all right? So y'all need to be faster and I'm just calling the spade a spade, but I love y'all printer though. I like that thing back there. I just don't like the software. Y'all got work to do, all right? So I got it all plugged up. I got to get my other phone ready. Uh, we gonna go to 
400, no, 385 for 190 seconds, all right? That was the suggested on these mugs right here. We got two different mugs ready to go, and we're going to see how it comes out. Oh, yeah, Jared. My man Jared over at Heat Press Nation. Listen, I only pressed one mug before in my life, and that was with you. So we're going to see if he was a good teacher and all of that stuff. I done adjusted the pressure back here, guys. You got to spin this together. You got to make sure you spin them the same direction, all right? And you got to test the pressure. When you put this thing in here, you want to make sure that it's in the center. You don't want to have it too far to the right or left because that can knock off your handle. So you want to make sure it's in the center and you're good to go. You got nice pressure right there. Um, and yeah, so you want to make sure it's in the center. That's good. Slide it in and out that direction. Uh, oh, I got to plug this thing up. I right, pulled it out. All right, plug this up here. All right, and then you spin this thing tight. We get ready to hit the switch and see how long this thing takes to warm up to 385 degrees, which is going to be the test. We normally test on the regular heat presses at uh, 320 degrees, but today we doing sublimation. So I'm going to make a little adjustment in that and uh, go ahead and stop watch this thing out. We're going to flip the switch, set the timer. It's already set for exactly what we need, 385 for 190. So let me flip it and you guys can watch this thing start and heat up and let's see how long it takes. Okay, okay, so that thing took about three minutes to warm up, which is super fast. Super easy. We got it set at 385 degrees for 190 seconds. That's a long time, man. I already set the pressure. Which one should we do first? We got I need money, not stress. And we got I'm here physically, but going mentally. I'm thinking to go with the small one with the all black print first. So let's go ahead and slide this in here. And let's close it up. And I actually probably should have used the other one because I set the pressure for the bigger one. So we got a little wait and then we'll get to see how it comes out. How do y'all think it's gonna? Five, four, three, two, one. Beep. How do you guys think this is going to come out? One thing I didn't do was check the temperature. Let's just go give it a couple pops. Pop! All right, it's fluctuating a lot. I don't even know what the world. Maybe it's because of the coat on here. I can't get a clean read. But how do you guys think this mug is going to turn out? Well, you can do a lot in 60 seconds. You can definitely do a lot in three minutes like these mugs take. And uh, so I'm going to set the next one up here while we go ahead and take a look at this one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start that. We're going to go ahead and pop this tape off. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I did bend a little tab back so that I'll be able to access the tape. It looks good. It looks good. You can definitely see the difference in the color uh, in the blacks. I don't know if it gets any better than that. You can see a slight difference. I'm going to have to check and see if I can get it any more black. Uh, but it looks good. Here physically, going mentally, meaning I'm just here so I don't get fined. So we got another 150 seconds before we get to see what the other one looks like. I'm going to step off camera and come back because I can get a lot done in two minutes and 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's time. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Woo, steaming, steaming, steaming demon. All right, picking this off here, taking a brown. Now that one looks better. That joint a little hard right there. I need money, not stress. I had a dope idea when I was we was coming up with these, and I'm gonna make my mug. I was was saying, but y'all might, you know how people be doing, 
copycatting and stealing and stuff like that. So we ain't gonna do that, but I just made two dope mugs for the pop-up shop. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these. And also remember, I'm gonna have affiliate links to everything in this video down in the description below. So you guys can click that if you wanna pick some of these up and shop with your boy, support the channel without costing yourself any extra money. And if you wanna buy anything from Heat Press Nation, go ahead and visit hpn.tshirtsizes.com. And while I'm on the topic, my man Jared over there, man, he is the best because he taught me one time, it was a long time ago at this point, probably over six months at this point, but I got it done today. Shout out to Gina as well. She gave me some uh, help with the sawgrass uh, machine there a little bit. And everybody who I kind of made the video and commented, shout out to you guys as well. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like I said, let me know what you want me to do next when it comes to sublimation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been your boy, Stan Basement T-shirt Side Hustle. Oh, don't want to burn myself in a mug. Peace.